In this short video, we will discuss how delete and update operations take place in an Elasticsearch cluster. The very first thing that we have to understand here is that a document in Elasticsearch is immutable and therefore we cannot delete a document nor can we modify it. In the last video on the right architecture, we saw what a Lucene segment is. Each such segment has a .del file associated with it. Whenever we send a delete request to Elasticsearch, the document is not actually deleted from memory, but it is just marked as deleted in the .del file. Whenever next we send a search query, any document that happens to also occur in the .del file is omitted from the search results. Lastly, whenever we merge the Lucene segments, all the documents that are marked as deleted in the .del file are not included in the newly merged segment. And hence, in this way, they are deleted forever. Let us see how the update operation works in an Elasticsearch cluster. Each document in Elasticsearch has a field associated with it, which is called the version number. So whenever we keep on updating a document, it is not that the same document is getting updated. However, a new document is being created, which has the same ID as the previous document, but a increased version number. When an update is performed, the document with the older version number is marked as deleted in the .del file and the document with the newer version number is indexed in the new segment. The older version might still match some search queries. However, in the final results, it will be filtered out. In the same way as we saw in the case of delete, whenever we merge the Lucene segments, any document marked in the .del file are not added in the newly merged segment. This is essentially how delete and update operations are taking place in Elasticsearch. If you find the content of this video helpful, please do click thumbs up. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. Like always, thanks a lot for watching.